Denise Smart, and Tyler might recognize me from, he's young. So I'm gonna say Road Trip and Varsity Blues probably out of the picture. I don't know, or Shameless. Mm. Thank you so much. <gasps> hey, I'm Shanola Hampton. Tyler may recognize me from the Showtime hit series, Shameless. Amy and I met and we were just kindred spirits. I was with my good friend Shanola. She's like, you know, I've been really thinking about wanting to connect with so-and-so. So I thought it would just be such a cool gift. <laughs> I could not have experience first without my Amy setting this up for me. Amy Smart! Yes, Amy Smart! Amy Smart. <laughs> Anytime you have an experience, you want your family to be involved. I wanted my sisters to come, so two of the three are here. Andrea doesn't believe it all. She was like, I'll see what happens, but I mean, come on. And then there's Alicia, who I think has a, a, a unique gift herself. And we are all going to kind of go through this experience together. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, Hi, Tyler. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. How are you? I'm good. Come good. on. Good. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> um, so. I, you're amazing. Oh, thank and you. And I've seen you, and I think you're amazing. And I, this is reading is actually not for me. Oh, this cool. is for a good friend of mine who I thought would really benefit from meeting you. So I wanted Perfect. you to meet her. Awesome. I yeah. can't wait. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. It'll be fun. So this is my good friend, Chanel. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh. Oh. Good to see oh. you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I didn't know who Amy or Shanola were, but I could tell that they were really excited about the reading. As I sat down with Shanola, I had to really figure out whether the information that was coming through applied to her, or if some of Amy's family was also trying to make a connection. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited you were here. So I'm doing the medium reading today because there is someone very special and close to me that I want to connect with. I get emotional almost even thinking about the possibility that I will be able to hear something from this person. So give me one sec, I'm just gonna scribble. <laughs> Pulled into your dad's side of family. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know if you know this, there was a, um, a family member who comes through on your dad's side who actually is not responsible for their own passing. <sighs> Instead, they were uh, killed. Like their life was taken from them. <laughs> okay. That is Rogers. From this individual's perspective, I don't feel like there's closure with this completely in a legal sense. And by that, I mean either like when it comes to the full thing story. being carried out, the full story. Thing. Can you tell us anything? Let's look, because there was more than one person involved. Oh my God. It's an acknowledgement of more than one person either being involved directly or knowing about this, you know, to an extent that maybe would not have been initially conveyed. Wow. Okay, so there's a reference to this happening fast. Happen Ugh, wow. Yeah. God, what a situation. If there's any comfort that comes through with this, there's very distinctly an acknowledgement of a feeling of, I don't know that I'm transitioning when I transition. <gasps> Which means that basically, this is uh, fast and quick. I don't know how to really word this. I don't know why he's doing this, but he's having my back turned. He's, he's having my back turned. Because, yeah, I know why. But he keeps doing this to me, and I can't make a change. He got hit while he was using the restroom on the side of the road, and we don't know really what happened. It was a hit and run, supposedly. Right. And so his back was turned, maybe? Yeah. He doesn't acknowledge seeing the person that would have done this, no, because right. this was just so quick. But. Um, it's not been completely resolved, but it will. I feel like I have to highlight within the next year. I'm seeing a lot of progress when it comes to family and healing and coping, but he's saying hello to a little baby for a birth that I would have to highlight. And then someone will actually end up naming someone after him. They did. And the name continues. Oh, wow. 
Roberts, and that's the baby he's saying hello to, so please know that. And he's okay. That's my cousin. Awesome. I love that. What was his name? Roger. Roger. Rogers. Rogers was on my dad's side. He was my my dad's brother's son, so my my cousin. And they named him they his brother named one of their children. Oh, well, please know he's perfectly fine. And when he comes through, that's his way of acknowledging that he knows that. So yeah, that's important. But there's so much that came that will be so wonderful for my family. And this is my cousin. And we're really a close, tight family, but like he came through to, to make sure, and that's a message that I, I can't, like I'm so excited to be done to deliver to my grandmother and to deliver to his mom and, and, and for her to see, like he came through in a big, big, big way. And um, we still don't have all the answers, but the fact that he says they're coming gives me a lot of hope. Generally, an object will help me kind of make a more direct connection to a person. Uh, so objects you... right there. Awesome, perfect. So I'm seeing a pair of glasses here. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Um, now I'm just gonna kind of have to navigate all of what's connecting. Um, for sure, around you, there's a lady who acknowledges that she feels like she died kind of too soon. The thing is, is that she feels like she at least got to reach middle age, or at least got to kind of reach around that time frame. And she's like, I got to this point. It's not like I died in my 20s, but I didn't die in my 80s. I, the feeling that comes through with this, technically it was more of a feeling of like, when it comes to getting the news of my passing, I feel like not everyone at one point was kind of around or had the opportunity to say goodbye. So when we hear, it's almost like, oh my God, had, this is a surprise or a shock because it's almost like I would want to be holding her hand in the moment that she passed. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. She's having me acknowledge um, a reference to a battle. She's having me um, talk about the last six months of her life. And then she's actually, she's having me refer to spreading. She has me refer to four girls that I need to highlight. But I where can't would, even breathe. Where would the four girls be total? We, there's four. Awesome, great. From her perspective, the feeling is, is like, I think I'm ready to go. I just am not ready to leave my family. And the feeling is okay. from her perspective, like, this is crazy. I, when I pass, I'm not gonna be worrying about myself because I'm worried about my girls. And she's like, oh my gosh, she's just saying my girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She's just saying my girls, my girls, my girls. And she's like, oh my I'm gosh. okay when I transition, but I'm worried about my girls. I wanna make sure my girls are gonna be fine. And she's having me acknowledge that it's, there's a feeling of, at the time of her passing, the reason why I wanna emphasize this feeling of kind of suddenness is because I don't feel like everybody got to actually my be there in that didn't, moment. My sister didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> So she just never got to say goodbye. Cause she was away in college. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, all good. You said my girl. Yeah. That's how she views them. Yeah, and... so she just didn't get to say goodbye. Right. And uh, she didn't have that moment. That's what she used to say. My girls. And that's what grandma said. She said that I'm, I can go, but I don't want to leave my girls. From her perspective, she's just wanting to kind of smooth this out and say basically like, I'm okay with this. I'm all right with how this went. Facts that you cannot bring up anywhere came. I don't even talk about my private life that much, my personal life. So you can't like, you can say she, her mom died of cancer. That's about all you could do. The stuff that he was saying was beyond when he said, my girls. When people say stuff that only you and your family know, my mother called us my girls. You can't make that up. So the person I'm bringing through, who would this be? That would be my mother. Her name is Anna Lou Hampton, and the main reason why I wanted to do this. And those were her glasses. Does she feel like she has closure with who she didn't get to say goodbye to, or does she need anything else with that? From her perspective, it's the person who didn't get the closure that she's more concerned about them. She has closure with everyone. It's more this other person that doesn't quite have the closure, and she wants them to. There's no reason to hold on to this feeling of not being able to say goodbye, because it's not goodbye. Right. And that's important that that be known. So she's let all that go. Thank and God. I was 14 when we when she was first diagnosed. Uh, and then we went through a series of surgeries and they thought they got it all. Um, but they didn't and it spread and it spread to her throughout her whole body and specifically her hip and it it took her. And by the time I was 16 years old, my mother had passed away of breast cancer. And she was a shell of herself when it happened. It's a 
horrible, horrible disease to live with. It's almost like there is peace in passing because the illness and the sickness is so bad. It's really hard to watch your mother dying. And we had to witness it. It just, and it just was life. But to have her be so present, um, it's amazing to have her be such a, still a large part of our lives. And so thank you, Amy, who without her, none of this would be possible. Oh, that was amazing. We oh got her. Gosh. I feel like I love him. I was like, is it too soon to say I love you, Tyler? Is that too soon? <laughs> too much, too fast, too soon? Because I think I love you. All right, so I'm going to bring my sisters down. Okay. Can, you, can you meet them? Let's do it. All right, you got to get one of them a husband. Come on, sisters! <laughs> Sister, sisters! Oh, awesome. <laughs> Hi, girl! <laughs> I cannot emphasize this enough. My sister was not a big believer in it for whatever reason. Maybe it was fear, maybe she kind of, but by the end of it, she 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 percent a believer. I'm the unbeliever. I'm so glad you came today. I mean, and, and really, really, I think what really got me it's when you say, my girls, because that's what my girl. That's, that's, what she, that's how she's my mother. She, that's all she did, my girls, yeah. my girls. I'm worried about my girls. Y'all take care of my girls. So that you said that. I was like, whoa. The chills as you're saying that, whoa. yeah. Well, Tyler brought up the fact that there was one sister that was not able to say goodbye. So when Tyler said she came through to say, I know you didn't get to say a proper goodbye. I knew it was to give, because you, 23 years later, you want to be able to say, just put her ear to the phone. Let me say goodbye. And so today she got to say goodbye. It was awesome. Oh, she came. She came, clearly she, came. Yeah. Had a little conversation. When people cross over, when people pass away, you talk to them, because you're like, oh, they're listening. But now I know she's really listening. So I think our conversations will become more, will become a little bit deeper. No.